I was like, mom, like, someone broke into my car. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, as you can see, I'm in a different location for once. Um, I'm at a hotel. Um, I am at the Millennium Hotel in Minneapolis. Tonight I am going to a concert. Um, I am going to the Alchemy Tour, so it's, um, Slander, Nightmare, Seven Lions, Glitch Mob, and then there's a few, I don't even know how many openers there are, but there are a lot of people they've added since I bought the tickets, so I'm so excited. Um, it's really early, it's like 4 o'clock right now, I just got out of the shower, obviously. Um, and thought I would do like a little get ready with me, um, how I get ready for a rave, um, what I wear, I don't even know what I'm wearing. I brought like my whole closet. I brought a suitcase and I live three hours away from here, so. I look a little whack. I think, oh. Okay. Too Faced. So we're gonna start out with a primer. I always use the Hangover RX by Too Faced. Um, I'm sure you've seen this one everywhere. It's fine, I never really used primer. So I got, I just randomly bought this and I like it. It's like moisturizing. I don't necessarily notice the difference when I don't use it versus when I use it, but it's the thought that counts. So I'm just gonna rub that all over. Make her face nice and red. So I'm gonna start with my damp beauty blender. It's gonna be dirty. I am using Born This Way, Too Faced. Shade is light beige, and I'm saying it like a psycho because I tried to say this five times and I have gotten interrupted by a text and a call now. So, so apparently, this guy named Jerry is giving out my phone number, like thinking it's his, and he's trying to buy a car. Literally, I've gotten so many phone calls and texts and voicemails about um, these cars that he's like making inquiries on. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do because even if I tell one person that, hey, like you have the wrong number, this isn't Jerry, like there's still a million other places that he's been contacting, you know, trying to get a car or whatever. And he's probably not getting any call, like calls back because he's giving them the wrong phone number. And I just wanna know, how similar is the number? Or Jerry, if you're watching this, please stop. I, I can't take it anymore. There's, I get enough calls as it is and I don't need your calls too, Jerry. So, no. Oh, there's no rhyme or reason how I do this. I just put it on like any foundation. I thought I'd do a video like this because it's kind of good lighting in here. Hopefully it looks like that when I'm editing. Um, I'm thinking about buying Visco X. It's $20 a year. And that's like kind of excessive for someone who's like not an influencer, isn't a photog photographer and whatever. But I like to like look cute. So we'll see. I might invest in it. Does anyone have any input? It's not that anyone really even watches my videos, so I'm just talking to a wall. Moving on to concealer, we're using the Born This Way Multiple Use Sculpting Concealer in Light Beige. I screwed up and I bought light beige in my concealer and my foundation. So it kind of defeats the purpose. So going back to my old stuff, Too Faced Born This Way in light. So what I like to do is take the stuff that matches like too well and bring it like a little lower and just do like coverage for the most part. And then I like to take the light stuff. I'll pop some of it. Because you don't 
that much and go up higher because that's where I want brighter and then do my lids and then I don't really like to highlight my face I think it just like cakes up wherever I get oily um but we're doing it so just gonna blend this in like so oh sorry I didn't know you can see okay so I had to I have this and it would probably be better to keep it up in the towel but if I leave my hair like this for too long and it dries enough it will be all creased and there's nothing I can do about it so there's just a feeling I get when I have to take this off and I have that feeling so like this and squeeze it out like that so make sure I have my foundation where I want it and I'm going to be using a wet brush you know just the ones that I think you're not supposed to see I have it starting already I don't think you're supposed to brush your hair after a shower or so I heard um but you do what you gotta do to get the tangles out. Um, I don't know what kind of part I want tonight. I think this is kind of good. It's like a little middle side part. It's kind of, is it? No, I think that's good. So then, after I brush it, I like to put a little, oh shit. Makeup on my hand. Uh, uh, I hope it's not in my hair. Um, okay. So I use shit enough. So like while it's air drying, it had it's not like stick straight. I don't know what I'm doing, so I just do that. And I like that for now. So then. I know you're not supposed to blend down because then it like makes your face look kind of weird but I still think every time I do it it looks kind of weird so and it's hard to see like how blended it is like how do people do that okay so just try to make it I got another call <laughs> I'm trying to blend and, and I still like don't really know what's going on with my face but I would say like it's kind of it's pretty good for me now we are gonna do we're gonna set it and so how I set my face is kind of weird we're gonna take the the cover effects perfect setting powder and it's like the white one or whatever I don't know the first thing I do is set under my eyes, and I don't bake, and I don't do anything. Oh, see, my eye already creased. It just doesn't make sense. Obviously, I am not the beauty guru. Obviously, I don't really know what I'm doing. But this is just what I like to do when I go out, when I get ready. I do not get ready on a daily basis. I just don't like the feeling of, like, unset makeup. I think it's too sticky, and it rubs off. I don't know how people are like, yeah, I'm just going to set like the oily part of my face and leave it. Like that's not going to fly with me. Okay, so my next thing I do. Hello. Benefit. Hula bronzer. Um, mini. I'm broken. So I just take that. Tap with this busted ass brush. I didn't know if I wanted to say ass. I'm trying not to swear on my channel, but ASS. Taking this and I'm going over my thing that I already did. Just to warm my face up. <laughs> I stole from my mom years ago, by the way. And I'm gonna take the Tarte blush in the color Seduce. It's the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. 
And I also don't think I do this right. But. And I don't know what this video completely is going to be. It might literally just might be this. Um, get ready. Oh, I have that. Oh, God. Okay. So to fix it, I take this buffing brush. And it helps a little bit. Looks like I'm... Well, what is this? My boyfriend's coming. I didn't even mention that. I forgot I'm a bitch. Um, uh, Derek's coming. Um, it's our one year this weekend. It's our official one year. We've been like talking. We've been talking technically for longer than a year, but it's our official like dating one year. Um, so yeah, he's coming. He'll, he'll be late to the concert. So like right now, I'm basically like going to a concert by myself. I think I have friends I can meet up with beforehand, but obviously that's kind of hard when everyone's like partying and like wanting to start partying soon so but I don't want to sit around and wait for Derek love you honey but like I have a concert to get to um so okay now I have to do my eyeshadow and this is like the hardest part I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I think it's the most beautiful pigmented palette but I use it like every single time I go out and I kind of want to use something different I use the same brush for everything and I just We are going to, actually I saw this trick, I'm gonna do this right now. This is the Wet n Wild Stick Eyeliner. And it is like, it hurts, it's so like indented. I'm just lining my inner, you know, that part right there. Did nothing, but I still like to do it. What are we gonna put on our eyes? Do I do pink? Nah. I will do this. Start low, go slow. That's what we're gonna do. That's what they tell you when you're giving medication to your patients. You um, start low and you go slow. So we're gonna use this, this one, right there because it's safe. It's not decisive today. Okay, so that's super light. I'm gonna keep using it though for consistency. Okay, why is that? It's literally like white. <laughs> that was stupid on my part. Whatever. Put that in. Done. Okay, we're gonna use this one. Is that too dark? We'll use this one. Look at my face while I do this because I look like a clown with this white on my eye. We're gonna cover that. I think of it as a primer. See, like, it's just frustrating because these, like, aren't that pigmented, you know? Maybe they are, and I just suck and I'm lazy because I don't want to dampen my brush. Why does this look better than the other side? So we're gonna zoosh this out like so. Once I get closer up, I know it's gonna be like hideous, but I look like a clown. Look at my blush. This is where it gets serious. Oh, that's not so. I just plucked my eyebrows literally 10 minutes ago. put this in the outer 
area. So now we're gonna blend this out. Wipe, 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 and blend. <laughs> Now we're going to set our face. Oh, I'm going to cut this part out because I look ugly when I do it and I need to answer my text. Morphe setting spray. I'll be back. I am back. I am damp. And I need to do my hair. But ugh, just setting spray makes your face look so ugly, I think. Like realistic and ugly. Oh. Ugh. Looks ugly. Do I do lashes RN? Yes, because I like it. They're like the cheapo ones. They're massive. These. I like them though because the band, if you can see those, <laughs> with the, all the glue on it, um, is so thick. And so it's like so easy to. Well, e I say easy now, but it's better when it's like that when you want to get them glued onto your lashes. But this one is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Yep, L'Oreal. Looks like better than Sex Mascara, but it's not. And it's not, it's very similar. Like if you look at the brush, super similar, but it's so, so clumpy on the brush. I, every single time I use it, I have to like wipe it off on the top. Um, and then to do this, I literally just... I'm like not that good at putting lashes on and I put them on like every time I go out. I put mascara on the top so that my lashes stick better. They have like traction, but I let it dry obviously a little bit. I do have these, but I kind of want to wear these like just out downtown rather than... Alright, I'm gonna start with the left eye today. I'm feeling good. I could have put highlighter on. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna use glitter bomb. <laughs> Pop the excess. Oh, she's glowing. Okay. I don't know the proper areas for highlighter anyway, but. Me for literally everything. It's a rave. <laughs> Look. Just like so. I was gonna lighten my teeth. I did it last night. It doesn't really do anything besides make my teeth hurt, so I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Like this. It's gonna have used glue on it. I don't care. I just don't wanna pick it all up. Now I take this little eyelash like tweezer. Here we go. So it's a wet jar, I get a little tacky. Okay, I think it's dry enough. We're gonna take our little mirror. Well actually we're not. We're gonna go closer up because I need both hands. Oh sh oh that doesn't look so bad says me with massive eyelashes on my eyes right now. I'm honestly, it was taking so long to get ready. It's cause I like it, like doesn't, my friends are like, oh my God, you're so slow getting ready. And it's like, actually, if I actually need to get ready like quickly, I, like, 
for class, I wake up literally like eight minutes before I have to be out the door and it's fine because I don't need to get ready. I just like enjoy it. I like the process. I look whack. So they're not even. <laughs> they are so uneven. Um, what do we do? Well, we're gonna curl them and that will help. But like, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. It's just like this one's like so tipped up and this one's kind of tipped down, I feel like. Okay, well I'm gonna do my hair and then I'm gonna come back. I'm literally just gonna dry it and curl it if I want to listen to music. I have a small little story time to share. I went to the concert and I like, I can insert some photos and then like a few clips, but I didn't get any of like me. Um, so I went to the concert and it was like, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, really good time. But then, <clears throat> so I went home. I probably got home at like two and I probably got home a little bit after that. And I woke up the next morning and I had, I get super bad migraines. Oh, the lighting's gonna be bad now. Um, I get super bad migraines. So the only thing that helps me is Excedrin migraine. So I'm staying, and keep in mind, I'm staying at the Millennium Hotel. And I did not know that it was not like a good quality hotel until this chain of events started happening. Um, I knew that I had Excedrin in my backpack and I knew my backpack was in my car because 
I came straight after lecture to the cities. So I knew that it was in the car um, and I knew that I had an unopened box of Excedrin in the side pocket of my backpack, whatever, unrelated. But, so it was literally barely seven o'clock in the morning. I walk all the way down to the parking garage. I walked all the way down to the parking garage and I get down there and I get to my car, open it up. It's like, oh, like why are all my binders all over the floor of my car? I was like, oh shit, like I must have left my backpack unzipped while I was driving there. Well, keep looking, keep looking. Um, no backpack. I was like, okay, like I, did I bring it? And then I was, it took like a full 20 seconds for me to register like all my binders are dumped out on the floor. Um, there's no backpack and there's no laptop. I, like as soon as it like clicked I could like feel it click in my head and I was like oh my god and then I like looked at the front of my car and I usually have uh, stereo is I usually have like a few dollar bills underneath I noticed kind of that I called my mom immediately I was like oh my god like I think I was robbed and <laughs> and so whatever we're on the phone and I went and I asked the valet and I asked the managers of the hotel and nobody could help me I had to walk a mile to go file a police report I'm bawling by the way like I'm in nursing school like I my whole life is my computer and all my information is on my computer like everything so you just feel so violated and like you just somebody was in your car somebody that you don't know somebody that like took your stuff but they're gonna have to subpoena the hotel to get the footage so I'm sure it was just like it's kind of in a crappy area which like I said I didn't know so I just had to spend another like $1,400 on a new laptop and yeah so that put a major damper on the weekend but maybe I'll insert some other footage of what I did um, me and Derek we went to Top Golf, which was like so fun <laughs> Um, and then we went, we got some really good pizza. And we also went to Minnehaha Falls, which was awesome. So, otherwise, like besides that fact, getting my property violated, um, it was a really good weekend and a really good concert. So I'm glad I went. But now trying to get back into school, I literally, I feel like I, forgot everything and not only did I my brain forget everything my computer has I don't have any of like my notes written out of like things I had to be doing luckily my files transferred over I got so lucky on that one so so yeah um also there was a crack pipe literally like the things that you smoke crack or meth out of it's like the little glass bulb with the thing on the end it was in a to-go box in the middle of the hotel like by our elevator on the 10th floor a crack pipe and I was just sketched like the entire time so yeah but yeah that's all I have um thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the get ready with me part um I still have to go through and edit everything so hopefully this video turns out better than my weekend did thank you so much for watching and I will see you back next time <laughs>